2K Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and out on the course following our feature group is the delightful Henny Koyak. Hello Henny. Hey Luke and Rich. I'm looking forward to treading the fairways again with these two because they were absolute fire the first time round and I have a feeling that after their exchanges on social media it'll be even more spicy out here. All right Rich, your thoughts. HV3 is an amazing dynamic player. The last time we saw these two matched up Harold got the best of them. However, their competitor is showing some good form as of late. Yes, he's got a sharp tongue and a clever game. Let's see how HV3 goes up against this player in this rivalry. And he's down there. Setting up this shot from about 120. Well, he means business coming out, hitting shots like that against HV3. I think Harold's just as surprised as I am. This part of about seven feet to the hole. Little birdie look in here. Getting off to a great start at this event. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. He's currently tied for second. The second, a short par four, one that the players like to take on these days, Rich. A good birdie look here. They do. It used to be where you laid back on top of the hill and took a wedge, nine iron sometimes for your second shot, but a lot of players now are challenging that bunker down the right-hand side, getting as far down there as possible and just having a flick with a sandwich in for their second. Well struck. Wonderfully played. A birdie putter waits. Was on a good line. Putting for a par here. And there it is. And now heading over to Harold Varner the third. He's going to want to improve on that current fifth spot. So after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. There are so many stunning golf holes on this entire property. And this third, the par three downhill, certainly one of the elite holes on the course. It might be stunning to look at, but it is painful, can be extremely painful to play downhill all the way when they tuck the pin over on the left hand side forget about it never hit it there only when the pin is on the center or the right part of the green should you be taking dead aim other than that center of the green all day long oh you've made it what a play let's get back to it shall we this putt is about eight feet Ooh. An opportunity to make their par. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. And unfortunately heading in the wrong direction on the leaderboard after that hole. One of the hardest holes on the entire property is the par 4 fourth ridge. It is a strong, demanding hole right from tee to green. Very picturesque, this fourth hole. Pacific Ocean directly to the golfer's left-hand side. Don't be sucked in the, by the views, however. You'd want no part of that. 
and you certainly don't want any part of that fairway bunker down the right hand side either find the fairway and you've got a good chance at knocking it on this green in two be wary though anything long and left on this green is no good oh, i didn't see this as possible what a shot This would be a great up and down. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Oh, well played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. Well, HV3 looking a little gloomy because this putt could put him down behind his playing partner. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. There's a real premium on your tee shots here at Torrey Pine South Course. Keeping ball in fairway is critical. And that is illustrated also by the par four field. This fairway cambers from left to right, which helps a fade on this hole. However, don't get too overzealous and pull it because that fairway bunker down the left, that sees a lot of action. Second shot is a green that pitches back towards you from back to front. That's got a lot of movement over on the left-hand side. Just off the fairway in the first cut. Going with the eight iron here. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. That's inside the house of opportunity. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Setting up this putt 17 feet from the cut. This is what they have left for birdie here. This putt just five feet away from the hole. That's inside the range. Just a short putt remaining here. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's currently one stroke better than his rival and playing partner today. Let's take a look at HV3. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Rich, there are a number of strong holes on this outward half, but the par 5 6 the players are definitely thinking birdie here, but it's all set up by the tee shot. A nice reprieve this par five just a little bit dog leg from left to right keep it shy of those fairway bunkers down the left hand side and almost every player will give it a go in two this is a three tiered green with a low area over on the left hand side that sees a lot of action getting ready to play their third Three shots off the lead. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. That's a great shot into birdie range here at the sixth. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. This putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. Oh, so close, but an easy par. Well, it was a wonderful approach shot, wasn't it? But unfortunately, having to settle for par. The par four seventh, a little dog leg left to right. Again, positioning on the tee is key. This fairway slopes pretty good from left to right. Players want to start it out at the fairway bunker down the left-hand side and just hit a gentle fade off of that. Second shot here is to an elevated green. Don't go long whatsoever here. That's when the Barranca and the Canyons come into play. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Three behind our leader. And here we are with the third shot. Just three strokes back. Oh, well played. Oh, and up he goes, marching to the top of the leaderboard. Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. This one was a great chip in. I could watch this all day.
And now heading over to Harold Varner III. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. OK, time to return to the action. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. We head up the hill away from the ocean here at the eighth hole, Rich. A lovely par three, but all the challenges in the green. It is. It's very wide, not very deep. Players going in there with kind of mid irons to short irons. Uphill the entire way. Difficult to get it on that back level when they stick the pin all the way on top. That was special. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. A share of top spot on the leaderboard awaits if they can make this putt. Okay, steady now. Let's move one step closer to the lead here. This putt for a share of four. Ah, didn't quite hit it, did you? Downhill putt, and sometimes you think it's going to run out more than it does. Just couldn't quite figure it out this time. Three over for the day. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? The par 5 ninth is a monster over 600 yards, Rich. Challenging, to say the least. I think the challenging part about it, Luke, is it's just straight away. You have to hit a straight tee shot, a straight second shot, and a straight third shot to find the green in three. It really is just that simple and straightforward. The green does have two tiers on it, but for the most part, Luke, it's an inviting third shot. Sometimes you hit some good ones, sometimes you hit some bad ones. Sitting at two over par in a share of seventh. Okay, so that's step one, but now going to hold a mid range putt. Putting for birdie here. Oh, that's frustrating. Three feet to go here to the hole. This for par. Here we go, Rich. The back nine on Sunday. What are your thoughts so far? Two strokes off the lead with nine to go, Luke. They're going to need to put something special together. Untidy, wasn't it? Second shot here on the tenth hole. Uh oh, this one leaking out to the right. And he's safely on the green. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Well, this will be a bonus right on 17 feet from here. Oh, so close. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. Ooh. All good putters accelerate through the ball. This is... I can't believe what I just saw there. It seems surreal. This is crazy. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. And now at plus four for the round. There aren't too many easy holes here at Torrey Pines South, but the course certainly gets tougher as we head to the par 3 11th. This green from the back tee looks minuscule. There's just not a lot of room on the front of it. Even the back section, which it does get a little bit wider, it still is very small. A massive shelf, top left, if you get it up there, Happy days for you. If not, just find the green, two putt, make three, move on. This is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. 
This has eyes for the hole. And back to the play, shall we? This would be a great up and down from this spot. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? Love watching this player around the greens. That was a gallant attempt. Putting now for a bogey. Trailing by five shots after that hole. We head to the 12th hole. This par four is as big and as strong and as tough as you find anywhere on the PGA Tour. This is about as tough a hole as you're going to find anywhere on the planet. Prevailing wind coming right back into the players. You just have to step up and hit a solid tee shot to find the fairway from there. You're going in with a mid to long iron, sometimes even a hybrid to a green that sits just above you. Not a ton of movement, but enough from back right to front left to make you think. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Getting ready to play their third. Five shots off the lead. Didn't that look good for a long time? Par putt coming up here. Oh, lovely roll. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. Down it goes, but that's back-to-back -back bogeys. Time to lift. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. Wow, I didn't even know they had this power. Great drive. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Yeah, fair amount of elevation here. They're going to have to be careful that they club up because you do not want to be short. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Oh, stop it. What a shot. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. Ooh, right by the hole. Putting for par. They've got this left to tie with Harold Varner the third. And stepping up the standings after that effort. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Wow, that was just striped. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Five strokes behind our leader. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Get the fist pump ready. This looks like it's going in. Let's return to live play now. Chance to move up into the top 20 on the leaderboard. A good putt to make here. Ouch, that hurts. Just six feet between here and the hole. Just didn't drop. Putting for bogey. Currently at seven over par. We stride across the 15th, Rich, and we talk about strong par fours. This is another one. 
As big as 12 was, Luke, this is almost twice the size, if you can imagine it, with a tiny, tiny landing area out there. This is possibly the meanest hole on this golf course. Not hardest, meanest. If you've walked off with par on this hole, job well done, my friend. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. And here we are with the third shot. Short game has always been stellar, and that's just why. He has this putt to save his par. Just remember to get that nice rhythm in your stroke. It's downhill the entire way, and yet, unexplicably, comes up short. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. 16th, the last of the par threes on this golf course, but it's not an easy one. This is underrated difficult. The green is big in size, but it plays awfully small because there's really small sections to this green. The front, the back right, and the top left. If you find the right section, job well done. If you don't, it's going to be a difficult two-putt, to say the least. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? has to put this one downhill. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. The penultimate hole at Torrey Pines South is not a long par four, but the danger lurks everywhere. They moved this fairway to the left alongside the canyon a few years ago, which really enhanced the beauty, but also the fear of this hole. You have to challenge the left-hand side because the bunker down the right is really no good. From there, the green, it tilts from back to front, mostly with a really low section over there on the left-hand side. However, it still is a promising birdie opportunity. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up here from about 150 yards. And choosing the eight iron here. That should find the surface. Oh, what a wonderful shot into the 17th and sets up another putt inside birdie range. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? A par putt on the table. Gee, that had a chance, didn't it? And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. Now, seven shots behind after that. And the finishing hole here at Torrey Pines South, one of the more famous on the PGA Tour, site of so many of Tiger's wonderful victories. Par five, you can get there in two. You can, but you have to thread your drive in between those four fairway bunkers that line the fairway. From there, now you have to think, do I want to take on this flag with the bunkers right, bunkers left, and certainly the water in front? It's a daunting second shot, but if you're brave enough to take it on, then you could reap massive rewards. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Putting for birdie. And that'll wrap things up for him here at this tournament. Well, Henny, they've done it. They've finally managed to beat their rival. Indeed they have, Luke, and they will be glad to check that box in their list of goals this season.
On behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in and see you next time.